everybody to Fight Factory, PWF Fight Factory. We are back with the YouTube exclusive tonight. We have three great matches for you here tonight. We are live from the Hammerstein Ballroom here in New York. First match on the card tonight, CJ Shine versus the Demon P Evil Dizo. Is it Shine time or will the Demon rise from hell and claim another soul? Here comes CJ Shine, ladies and gents. He's had a couple of opportunities here in PWF at Championships. Uh, hardcore titles, open weights. Never quite made it just yet. But here is in the Fight Factory tonight. He wants to wrestle. He said, give me a chance to fight in the Fight Factory this evening. And we give him a shot tonight. Evil Dizo, ladies and gents. The pits of hell he has rose from. Here to New York. He's getting booed here in New York. Oh, there's a mixed crowd here in New York. Here we go. CJ Shine is ready. Evil Dizo is ready. Who's winning? Who's taking this home on tonight? 30 minutes on the clock. The bell has been rung by the referee. Collar and elbow tie up. Evil Dizo gets the up hand. Goes in. Irish rip. Oh, CJ blocks it. Blocks whatever Evil is doing. Comes in with a couple of rights then. Irish whips Evil into the ropes. Back body drop from Evil. CJ Shine, is it she Shine time tonight? We will find out as he goes the second rope here, ladies and gents. Knee drop to that chest area. Great stuff by CJ straight away early on. Stepping through the ropes. Oh, standing, shooting Stark over a cover. Quick door, quick and early doors. One count. Not going to get the win there, but you never know. Any move can really finish off your opponent here in the Fight Factory as well as any of the PWF rings tonight. I say we're in the dingiest setting of oh, abdominal stretch, cobra twist, submission move on Evil Dizo. Will Evil tap out? I don't think so, but you never know. He breaks free. A couple of shots to the face. Oh, nice little oh head scissor takedown. Great escape by Evil there. And then a low basement drop kick to the chest area. Maybe you can call him on the jaw. Overhand right there. I gotta say we're in a dingiest setting in the fight factory. We just want to see fights. Oh, Leapfrog there, great. Athletes. Oh, they clash tabs. Evil went for a clothesline, but they met. Can you miss? Sling blade, though. Drop kick to the side of the head. Great stuff by Evil Dizo. That was vintage Evil Dizo, if I'm going to say so myself. That low drop kick drop. Uh, DDT, sorry. Drops. CJ on the head there, but gets kicked to the spine. Is going. Oh, nice. Oh, head scissor takedown by CJ. Showing a little bit of athleticism. Evil rolls out, and CJ is going high risk. Doing top row. What has he got in his mind here diving headbutt to the outside oh my lord all the way down to the outside that looks more like carpet area here it is concrete under that carpet there's probably a little bit underlay under that carpet but i can't imagine it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be too much goodness for that fans here well like i said this is a classic arena known for ecw a ring of honor we are here with pwf i went for that drop kick evil but cj moves out of the way under new rules here in PWF, the outside count is now down to, is, is on to 20 in singles matches, as well as a 30-minute time limit as CJ goes top row. What's he thinking? He could be thinking that missile drop kick finisher like he likes to utilize. He could have won this. Hooks a leg. Evil down for the count. Two. Evil kicks out just about there, ladies and gents. CJ Shine has kind of been the dominant force in this match, but it could all change. Double underhooks. Oh, here we go. Floating over them. Double underhook. Suplexes. Three of those all together. No, then drops him with that double underhook. Hook DDT. That could be enough to finish off the demon. Evil Dizo now as he hooks a leg once more. One, two. Evil gets a shoulder up. 2.5. CJ may need to do a little bit more to keep the demon down. What's he thinking? He could be thinking maybe another one of those shine time missile drop kicks. And I think that's what he could be thinking as he waits for Evil to get to the top throw. Big arm oh, and it just took the face off of Evil. That has got to be it, surely. One, two, three, and it is. That's all she wrote. CJ Shine with the win. Good job, CJ. Right, next up, ladies and gents, we have Kumo Spidey of the Dirty Club going up against Jack Fantastic, ladies and gents. Here comes Kumo Spidey of the Dirty Club, ladies and gents. Tag Team Champion. Now, here comes Jack Fantastic, currently in a team with Finchie. They're called the United Kingdom, but he is a great singles wrestler as well. Hasn't been able to make it big time just here in the PWF. I like how... 
Kumu Spider is ready. Jack Fantasia ready. The bell is rung. New York treated to a match here. Here we go. Jack Fantasia getting the upper arm. Irish trips Kumu into that corner. What is Jack thinking early doors here? Oh, explode a suplex into that corner. Jesus. Holy crap, Jack Fantasia going to take it to it. May hopefully, maybe if Jack Fantasia can get a win over Kumu here, maybe a potential uh, tag team title match for him and Finchie as the, the United Kingdom, the team they formed recently. Double underhooks by Jack here. Tiger Driver, nice little move. Well, Jack taking the upper hand here on Kumo Spidey. Early doors. And then looking at that arm here. Jack's got a little bit of a submission background, but likes to utilize that Jack Hammer as a finisher, as well as the, um, the Walls of Potato. He's taking it to Kumo here. Underhooks again, maybe thinking that Tiger Driver 98 again. He does, slams him down. Going top rope. 29 minutes on the clock. Here we go, Jack Fantastic diving head, but oh, Kumo moves out of the way. Jack maybe taking a little bit too much time to taunt on that top rope. As now Kumo underhooks his arm. Tiger Drunners, Tiger Driver sits out. That's the Tiger Driver night eight. When one count though, probably never gonna get the dub off that. But you never know from you never know though. Oh now what's this? Snap mare from Kumo hooking those arms. Nice little submission move. Not gonna get. I mean, Jack is yanking back those arms. Look at the the, the size difference. Kumo is a lot jacked. As oh, right, what's this? From, oh, nice little head scissor takedown from Jack. Fantastic there. Jack though may not be have the bigger frame, but he has a great muscle mass. Great Jack. Um, like he is jacked. Work um, delivery will have to do a lot. Oh, the Hadouken! The Hadouken from Jack. Fantastic. It's t enough to keep. Kumu down, but how long for as Jack jumps with a splash of the spine called area. Jack thumbs up the fans here in New York cheering Jack fantastic. Are they fans of Dirty Club? I don't know. Oh, went for Stomp, but Kumo moved out of the way just in time. Goes low with that body shot. Bulldog now. No, oh, headlock into a, and then a punch to the forehead there. And we have like a bust him a big right hand from Jack fantastic. What's this? Underhooks. Cyclone back suplex there. Spin cycle, one would call it as well. And Kumo could now be thinking the low down frog splash could be over. One, two, jacket at 2.9. Kumo could not believe it. The dirty club on the outside could not believe it. Jack kicks out of that. Fans chanting fight for Oh no, and here we go. Boom, the crossroads from Kumo Spidey. One, two, Free Jack Fantastic had a great start to this match, but Kumo Spidey picks up the win for the Dirty Club. Our main event of the Fight Factory, we have the debuting. If I'm pronouncing this right, he's a new de new signing here in PWF from Japan. Ke Kaisuke Kiriyama versus the PWF streaming champion Jigs for over 270 plus days. As Kiriyama makes his way down here in New York. Not much is known about Kiriyama, to be fair. But known in these big time in like the smaller scene in, in Japan. Traveled a lot over Japan. Has had an excursion over in England before, as well as Mexico. Here he is, the devil of devil of PWF getting booed by the New York fans, holding that title that he has held since the 13th of November when he re um where he beat Catfish Wellington, a member of the Fallen as well. He is alone tonight, doesn't have any of his Fallen bre brethren with him tonight, his comrade in arms. We're about to get started into this match. Just right now, if you're liking the action, head over to please like the video, comment on your bet what you're enjoying so far. As we join our main event, the bell is rung, they're going to meet in the middle. Jigs has the height advantage, maybe a little body, extra body mass, well, knee in the corner to Kiriyama. And then the, oh, the face, what disrespectful from Jigs. Again, early on, running in that, oh, the boot wash right across the face there to Kiriyama. Jigs going top rope, is he thinking, what is he thinking early on here? Jigs wants, he's not paid by the hour, ladies and gents, is Jigs. Cross body, hooks the legs, going for the win. One, not going to get a win off there, but Jigs, you never know, he's probably that. Not that surprised as Kiriyama gets to his feet. But then he gets slammed right back to that canvas by Jigs. who then kicks him in the arm. Oh, the multiple knee strikes to the chest. Drops him down. Jigs looking at him. I'm going to make easy work of this. Jigs might not want to underestimate him though. Oh, the disrespectful, disrespectful slap. And then a drop kick to the back here. 
Jigs is, oh my lord, Kiriyama is in the corner, he's in trouble, Jigs runs at him full short, oh, Jigs missed, gets his leg caught up there, he's got his leg caught up there, gets out of the way before Kiriyama can make the, oh no, Blade Runner out of nowhere, Blade Runner out of nowhere, this is like a squash match, ladies and gents, the leg is hooked, he got caught up there, got out of there quickly, 2.8, Kiriyama showing tough stuff there, but it could be more, it could be more coming, on the way, Akira Armour. Oh my lord. Jigs got his leg caught up. Thought it could have been a turn of the tides then. But not so much. Jigs taking Akira Armour to the ropes now. What is he thinking? Oh, I know what he could be thinking. He could be thinking that. Heat Seeker spikes Akira Armour on the head. And now it's surely. It could be thinking another Blade Runner. No. I think he was thinking Dragon Suplex. But Akira Armour moved out of the way. Even though he's been spiked. Rock Jigs there. Rock Jigs. Electric chair drop. What is this? The one winged angel. Oh my lord. We have not seen that in PWF before. One. Two. Jigs kicks out. Got caught by surprise here. We know Kit. We presume Kiriara has got a hell of a neck. Because he withstood that heat stick against Spike. Go top row. Heat seeking elbow to the chest of Jigs. The open. Uh, the streaming championship. He rolls out. But Kiriyama is not letting up. This is what he needs to do. The fans here in New York are loving this. It's Kiriyama. He's taunting this urgency slow down slightly. Dive to oh, crossbody. Jig caught him. Oh my lord. Jig's caught him. Power slam on that carpeted area of the outside. Jigs. We thought Kirama was potentially stunned as he then gets thrown into the barricade by Jigs. Then a, oh, went for a knee strike. Kirama moved out of the way. Knife edge chop. In, they're in the apron way. They need to get back in the ring. There is 20 count though for PWF. What's this? Oh, oh no. Knee strike to the side of the head by Jigs to Kiriyama. Deadlift now. No. Oh, figure deadlift German, but Kiriyama escapes. Jigs back there again. Kick to the sternum area. Big round rocks Jigs. He just looks at it, shook it off like nothing. But then he didn't shake that one off though. Kiriyama again. So back and forth. No one's getting an upper hand here. Kiriyama now. Oh, German suplex. Oh my lord. Holy crap, ladies and gents. Snap there from Jigs. This is on. Oh, Jigs there with that knee strike. Knees get in the ring though. They do have 20 count, obviously under new PWF rules. And Jigs is gonna throw him back in the ring. We're only actually four minutes into this match. Jigs oh, torn himself up now. What is he thinking? He's going top rope. The ref's still counting. He's he's, he's back in the ring technically. Elbow drop. A Kiriyama moves out of the way there. On Jigs, big right hand rocks Jigs once again. He could be thinking that one winged angel one more time, ladies and gents. Oh my lord, there it is. The one wing and angel could be over. One, two. Jigs kicks out again. Oh my lord. This could be a shock upset for Jigs if Kiriyama beats him tonight. Big right hand rocks him again. Rip cord. Larry. Oh my lord. Turn Jigs inside. Hooks the leg. It's over. One, two. Jigs with that shoulder up again. Jigs is being shocked here. Maybe underestimated Kiriyama how early he went in. Big right hand again. And now we could be figuring. Once again, no. I think Jigs is going to break out this time. Once to the well. Too many times. Jigs kicks out. Waist lock from Jigs. Leg capture. Oh, my Lord. Right on the back of his head with a bridge. One, two. Oh, my God. Kirama kicks out. He rolls out, though. Jigs slides out. Comes back in the ring. Waist lock by Kirama. Going to drag him to the ropes. What has he got in mind here? Oh, no. Jigs throws him over to the outside. Jigs slides out now. Jigs got to probably put in the violent show now. Toughen up a little bit. Because he is taking Kira, Kira Yama. Sorry, I'm saying it wrong for a joke. And now he could be thinking Blade Runner for a second time. Here it is. Blade Runner drops, spikes him on his face. Hooks a leg. One, two, three. What a main event. Jigs looking absolutely exhausted there. Kira is getting to that corner. As that seven star Lariat, the Rick called Lariat, but Jigs showing off his veteran abilities and he wins here. And that was our main invite. I hope you appreciate the show. Remember to like, comment, and if you don't already, please subscribe to the show. I'll catch you all again. Like I said.